Hey guys, we are Mario and Lynn and it is our joy to share with you the astrology reading for 15th of October. Hello beautiful friends, up to 4 p.m. today it is time for harvesting. The star that is resonating with the earth is Beta Andromeda, also known as Mirach, connected primarily to Venus, so pleasure, beauty and abundance of well-being. This star is connected to the energies of realization of potentials, culmination, this is the final lunar mansion, uh, and of course joy and harvesting. So it's time to gather the harvest of our efforts, which also resonates with what Rayoka recently advised us uh, for the autumn season. The advice for today up to 4 p.m. EST is to be active and follow the guidance that we receive. After 4 p.m. at about 4.30 p.m. Uh, the moon begins her new journey through the mansions, starting from Aries and the stars Beta and Gamma Arietes, Sheratan and Messer Thim. Uh, these are the horns of, uh, of the realm of Aries and these stars are connected to Mars and Saturn. Here we have the fiery energy of Aries, which is necessary for anything new for a new initiation. The advice for today is to start a new journey, to begin a new project, or to start the, treat the treatment of um, illness, uh, and uh, at the same time to be careful with the relationships, with our relationships, as this energy can be a little overly fiery. Uh, the advice is uh, that the, the most the, the thing that is most important is how we direct this energy. The advice is to use it in service to all. And this leads us into the tarot card and number of the day. For today, we have two tarot cards and two numbers. The first one is the Judgment Tarot card located on the 31st path of the Tree of Life. This is the path between Malkuth going upwards towards Hoth. So from Earth, we are moving into water. The tarot card, the judgment, is about rebirth. It's about beginning of a new life, putting the past behind you and really embracing new possibilities, new opportunities. As we can see in the card itself, there is an angel holding a trumpet. And this is exactly this wake up call calling us to really start aligning with our true will, to really start taking actions in order to manifest our desires, our goals, our dreams. The number connected to this card is number four. Here we have the number of Jupiter. We have the energies of expansion, abundance of well-being, prosperity, and success. The second tarot card of the day is that of the emperor. The emperor is located on the 15th path of the tree of life. This is the path between uh, Tiferet, which is the golden uh, Sephira, the abode of the Christ consciousness, as it is said, going upwards towards Hakma, the realms of the star. The Emperor Tarot card is about ruling, about setting up boundaries, order. It's about really starting to expand, taking actions in order to expand your domain, to expand your, to start creating, building, and expanding your own kingdom. It's about growing your reputation. And of course, creating limits, creating control, a level of control in your life. You know what is necessary, what is not. And with these boundaries, then you move forward and really continue in the building of your kingdom. The number that we have connected with this uh, tarot card is number six. This is the golden sephira. The end, we have the energies of gold, the energies of love, friendship, beauty, all beautiful energies that we can use in order to begin and construct our new self. So take advantage of these auspicious energies and know that the stars always support us in our efforts to be our true selves. Much love from us, guys. Mwah.